Hey, hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. I'm Pro Rodri. Last time we arrived here in Or Shore Town after going through a really long route. Today, we're going to explore around this place, see what we can find, as there does seem to be a lot here. Let's go ahead and pick up the apricorns. If you guys remember, we were also told that we were going to find the guy that can turn the apricorns into Pokeballs here. So about time, right? We've been looking for him all over this adventure. We also have a lot of different apricorn types. So if you guys know what the apricorns turn into, be sure to let me know down below in the comments as I'm always reading through them. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support you guys showed me. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't joined the Purple Banditos yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and join us today. Let's make our way inside. This is him. Hello, I'm Bert. I specialize in tuning apricorns into Pokeballs. If you like, I can cover one of yours into Pokeball. Definitely. Let's go with the black apricorn. We'll see what these apricorns do. Okay, I'll turn your black apricorn into a Pokeball for you. I should be finished by tomorrow. By tomorrow, Bert? It's going to take you 24 hours to get it done? Come on. How good is this Pokeball going to be? It must be a Master Ball if it's going to take that long to make it. She said, oh, Rodri, Grandpa forgot. In order to get these special Pokeballs, you'll need this. We obtained a Porphin Pail. If you plant Apricorn, you have to water them with the Porphin Pail, and they will grow into a tree, and you can pick more of them. Bring them to Grandpa, and he'll turn them into Pokeballs for you. Good luck, and happy growing. Well, thank you so much. You guys just heard how it's going to be done. Now we can actually plant the Apricorn, so if we have a type of Apricorn that can turn into a Pokeball that's going to be useful, we'll be sure to do just that. I got myself a full restore. Pretty good items over here in this place. I'm going to check all the houses. I haven't really explored this area a whole lot, so I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Have you ever met a Weed Sea? It evolves you a Water Stone. I think we actually have, and we got ourselves a Water Stone. I've been seeing some pretty interesting Water-type Pokemon, especially on the route leading up to here. I'm going to take a wild guess and say the next gym might be a water type gym. It's going to be for us to find out. Check this guy out. You doing fishing? What are you doing over here? Said my moose stone tries to smack down the coconuts from this palm. Here, try it too. We got TM23 Smackdown. Let's go. Smackdown versus Raw. That was one of my favorite video games growing up. I remember playing that on my PlayStation 1. The problem has been solved. Good luck in your battles. Okay, I guess there was a problem over here. Hey there, youngster. I have something for you. We got a water gem. I thought this guy would be fishing. Nobody's fishing around here. You guys are right next to the ocean. He said, I found it on the beach when I was fishing the other day. It might come in handy for you. I think it helps water type Pokemon. Maybe it does, my friend. Okay, she's tanning over here. So at least someone is enjoying this place. And that seems to be about it. Let's cross the bridge then. And let's continue our adventure today. I wonder what will be waiting for us across battle bridge and of course we've been stopped there's probably a battle Rodri wait <sighs> geez you're fast I was hoping I'd catch up to you oh that's a porphin fail I've got one too aren't apricorns awesome Bert also gave me some special pokeballs so watch out I'm gonna catch some awesome pokemon with them have you got something new I have let me show you in a battle here we go guys Rodri versus our rival and friend Rodney Let's see what Rodney's got. We've been whooping Rodney down with our team lately. Hopefully, he does have some stronger Pokemon, so it makes it a bit more of a challenge. That's going to be a weak kid, level 25. Hulk is an absolute monster right now. We're about to reach level 38, so our starter is looking very, very strong. We are not going to learn Iron Defense. I like the moves that we have on Hulk right now. Hulk's been smashing through the competition. Next is going to be a Purio, so let's keep it going. This is our boy Rodney starter. I'm going to drop the Bulldoze. Purio is only level 28, so this should do a lot of damage. It's super effective. And the Purio is out of here. Let's see who he's going to bring out next. Let's see some of his new Pokemon he's talking about. Hmm. We got to see what this is. Lunape. Level 27. Looks like a water type. I'm going to go for the Razor Leaf here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's going to do it. Is it a dark type Pokemon then? Interesting. I just know that we're so high level, we're going to be doing so much damage. But the Lunate Plus is really, really cool. I like that Pokemon. Terrace. We're good to go then, ladies and gents. We've seen the Terrace before. Rick had one of these. You know, Rick, they call him the... All right, we took down the Terrace. There we go. We're moving on through. Let's see what we got next. Butcher. Oh, ladies and gents. 
I got the rollout going. You already know how this is going to go. The Bud Chirp is out of here. Hulk has to be one of the greatest starters. We can't just mess this up. Like, we can have all the moves that are ready to take down. Ooh, Hawkeye, our rivals, is trying to learn follow-up. Follow me. Let's see what this is. The user draws attention to itself, making all targets take aim only at the user. That could be pretty decent for a doubles battle. I'm going to stop learning it, though. I like the moves that we have. And we defeated Pokemon Trainer Rodney. That was easy, Rodney. This is the end. I ah, know. We got 2800 for winning. Back up from that ledge, my friend. This is not the end of your adventure. You got this. Whoa, Rodney, that was intense. But I'll get you next time. I'll heal your Pokemon. Yeah, if you want to, dude. I, I think you're just wasting potions there. We whooped you pretty good, Rodney. I'm going to go to Docking Port and get some more experience. On uh, what? Oh, speaking of Rick. Oh, you two heading over the battle bridge? So am I. I'm going to beat all the trainers there as fast as I can so I can get to High Point City and get my next gym badge. I'm not going to waste my time battling you now, but how about we meet in Docking Port? There, we can battle. Catch you later, losers. Catch you later, Rick. He is such a... Oh, this guy is such a windbag. I will definitely find him in Docking Port and teach him a lesson. We will see each other again, Rodri. Bye. See you later, Rodney. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again. And we are ready to jump into a couple battles, as you guys heard. So let's jump in to our second battle here on Battle Bridge. These battles look like they're not going to be too hard, so we could probably mix it up. We got TM81X Scissor. Wow, that is actually a pretty good TM. And there are also some Pokemon here, so let's see what we got. That's the weed seed that that guy was talking about. We've seen this Pokemon before. If you guys want to get yourself a water type, by all means. Let's see what we can do here, ladies and gents. I'm going to put Hawkeye up in front for this next battle. I'll switch it up as we need to. Hopefully our egg hatches soon, too. Okay, that Rub Bunny is no joke. I have no idea what type that Pokemon is, but that thing is broken. It just did so much damage to me, and I could not take it down, even with Hawkeye. I'm gonna keep Hulk up in front as that seems to be the best strategy for us right now. We've been having some tough battles and I guess that's how it's gonna go around here on the battle bridge. Makes sense to me that they're gonna toughen up. We got ourselves a netball. Nothing too fancy. As I said, there's a lot of water types around here so keep your eyes peeled. Let's keep on going then, much faster with our starter. Hulk grew to level 40, we're looking pretty strong. battles weren't too bad. That was the seventh trainer? How many of them are there?
Okay, are we gonna find a nurse? Joy here? What's going on? I gotta revive our boy Hulk right now. Because I just got a little whoop there. But it's okay. That's the first time we're actually gonna have to heal up around here. We haven't had to use too much yet. And I'd say that's a pretty big win for us. Because these are a lot of battles. So if you can get through them without wasting too many supplies, I think that's really gonna help you out in the long run. I usually invest my supplies into repels and higher up potions like the revival herbs or the hyper potions. So for now, I think we're good. You can't stop the rollout, baby. We defeated the last trainer on the bridge. That's all 10 trainers. Congrats, you beat all 10 trainers on the battle bridge. Here's your reward. We obtained a lucky egg. So now we can get a lot more XP. I'll definitely take that. That's gonna help us out at least some when we do some training. So let's keep on going. We have arrived to the docking port. It took us long enough, right? She said, I love this little port, watching the boats come and go. Hey, check it out, you got a cool Pokemon. He said, I love Steel-type Pokemon. They're strong, very helpful to move the containers. Here, take this, it will raise your love to Steel Pokemon too. We got a metal coat. That's pretty easy to find. We might need that to evolve a Pokemon later on, or if you guys are looking for it, now you know where to find it. I'm gonna make my way inside of the Pokemon Center really quick though, and then we're gonna take a look around this place. How's it going, Nurse Joy? Good to see you once again. Heard you guys have a gym up in here, so we're probably gonna make our way over there and see what we can do once in a while we can do some things around here we can also accept some of the side quests we went through a really long battle stage today so we can run around and see what we can do so i said hey my name's kirk i'm a worker from jewel mine i love my work but in the breaks i really love to drink some bowel milk when my stock's depleted if you could bring me five bowel milk i will give you a pokemon i have no idea where it is it says you can find it in Coralite town's battle cafe so there you have it guys, he'll give you a Pokemon if you find him some milk. Said, hey, I'm a trainer here for a trainer who can help me. I have a weed seed, but when I trained it, it ran away because it was a shrub seed, which it loves the most. Can you help me search for my weed seed? Sure, we'll find it. Really? Thank you so much. I've heard that weed seed live on beaches. Maybe it's there. We'll go look for it at the beach. As we are officially at the docking port. So, oh, look who it is. So you made it. That's a surprise. Let's battle now. I'll show you. That I'm always better. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Rick. It's time to take on our rival Rick. They call him... Uh, Pokemon Trainer Rick would like to battle. He's got five Pokemon ready to go. He's going to open up with a Stegron. And we're going to open up with Hulk. So let's see what we can do. Last time I asked you guys, what is your favorite Pokemon item? It could be a battle item. It could be a berry. It could be anything you want. I'd have to tell you guys that mine is the Quick Claw for battles. But another item that I really like that I had to think about for a moment would have to be the Thunderstone. Just because it reminds me of that episode in the anime where Ash offers it to Pikachu and he's like, Hey, do you want to evolve to beat LT Surge? And then Pikachu's just like, Nope, I do not want it. I don't want it. And I gained some respect for Pikachu that day. I feel like that would be a tough choice to make. I would probably evolve my Pikachu, but it was kind of cool of Ash to give that choice to the Pokemon. So I started thinking, you know what, it's true. You gotta raise your Pokemon like their friends and your pets the same way because they still get to make some decisions, you know? They still have to be fulfilled and do what they want. So I like that episode. Next is gonna be a Cast Spring coming back out. We're doing pretty hot right now, guys. I'm feeling pretty good going up against Rick. Not too worried about it. The U-turn is gonna come out. Cast Spring is just gonna keep going for the U-turn, it seems. In the meantime, we will try to KO the rest of the Pokemon. That is an Orature. Let's go for the Razor Leaf on it. This guy's got to diversify his team a little bit. We are super effective against most of his Pokemon right now. No wonder all he can do is hit that U-turn out of here. I'm going to go for a Headbutt here. The Cast Spring is going to go for the Steel Wing. A little surprise. Let's see how much the Headbutt does to it. Oh yeah, we're about to take this Pokemon out. We're only up. 14 levels on it 
I would hope we could do it. And Cast Spring is probably the one Pokemon that could take us out on Rick's team, I'm assuming, since it's a bug type. And that's it. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Rick. I'm still better. We got 1740 for winning. I do not get this man's logic. Luck was on your side again. It doesn't matter. High Point City's next for me. I heard of a sailor in the pier who sails you to Route 9, but I don't want help from anybody. I think it's more for some weakling like you. Catch you later, loser. Catch you later too, loser. Let's make our way down here then and see if we can find the Pokemon that we're looking for. This is going to be Route 6. A brand new route and a brand new adventure. I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to be right now. I mean, it could be. There's going to be some battles coming up. I'm going to go back up and see if we can take care of those side quests, though. we got to find the Chateau and get some milk if we wanted to find that Pokemon. Or there's got to be a beach around here, right? What's up, dude? There's a legend about a Pokemon that controls the flow of the Earth Seas. Without this Pokemon, the sea would have no currents or flow and would just stand still. That is good to know. I'm also going to talk around to some of the people in these houses. I've been finding some really good items, so I don't want to skip over anything. Said my man's a big fan of all-star Pokemon. Oh, maybe he can teach us a thing or two. Said he's a big fan of Rakota starters. I'll learn how to teach him a special combo move. Ooh, should I teach it to your starter? Yeah. All right, which one should I teach? Let's learn Grass Pledge then and see what Grass Pledge can do. Hulk can actually learn this move. This might be one of those crazy high-powered moves. Calm the grass hits the foe. When used with its water equivalent, it creates a vast swamp. So it's like a doubles battle type thing. I get you, I get you. That's a pretty decent move. I like the moves we have right now, though. So I'm not too worried about it. If you guys want me to teach it to our Pokemon, we'll teach it. But for now, I think we'll be okay with what we have. I'm going to head upstairs and see if there's anything else here for us. Yo, what's up, kid? You playing some Nintendo Switch? He's just telling us about his dad. He learned it from his grandpa from Sario Town. I wonder where that is. We'll probably end up there eventually. See what else we can find here in the docking ports. Ah, I knew there was something else. We got a full restore, and there's a guy blocking a path up here. You'd like to use the cable car to get to High Point City? You could, but there's a technical problem at the moment. Sorry, we work to solve it as fast as we can. So there's a cable car to get to High Point, but we can't do that just yet. So we're going to have to find another way for us to go. You guys also heard from Rick. The Oh, she said, my husband's a sailor. He often travels between Kanto and Johto. Rick told us that we can find somebody to take us over there to High Point. And that is what we're going to have to do around here. Don't start creating your Pokemon fan game. We'll spend too much time for that. My father tried a long time ago. But at least he was never able to release a demo version. Oh, that's kind of messed up. I know that fan-made games take a lot of effort for real. So props to any of you guys that have made one or to the people that have made them. A lot of respect for them because a lot of these fan-made games are a lot better made, I would say, than some of the actual Pokemon games. I feel like even once in a while, Pokemon does take some, I would say, inspiration from some of the games and then puts it into their own games. Or it could just be coincidence. Who knows? We were sitting by that cargo container while Pokemon jumped out and scared us. Oh, look! Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Citric. Okay. Did not expect us to find a Pokemon around here. I'm probably going to KO it with the Razor Leaf. So let's give it a shot. This isn't the Pokemon we're looking for. So this just must be a Pokemon that you can catch here within the city. Which is pretty cool. If you guys are looking to catch it, I personally am not. So we're going to go and KO it. That's it, kids. We helped you out. You got anything for us? That's it. You guys just wanted me to KO a Pokemon? Help a man out around here. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. We already talked to her. So we can go up this way now. Oh, hello there. My name is Sammy, but people around here call me Santa Sammy. I take people across the water to Waytide City whenever they need. But the problem is I left my keys to the boat back at my house in High Point City. If you can grab them from me, I'll surely take you across the water to Waytide City. You'll do that. Awesome. There's also a gym at High Point City, so I guess it all works out for both of us. Thanks. You can find me at the pier. Bye. That's what I was looking for. So now we have our mission, ladies and gentlemen. We will be making our way out of here and heading to High Point. You guys can see that there's a little beach down here as well. We found a big pearl. 
see if we can find anything else. Can we go under the city? I was about to say, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, look! This must be her Pokemon. Yeah, this is definitely the weak of that girl. Do you want to bring it back to her? Yeah! So let's go ahead and return this Pokemon. We got to do some good things around here. Help out the community. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Help out anybody that you can in this place. We still got to find where to buy that tea or milk or whatever that guy wanted. We'll keep an eye out for that. What's up, Nurse Joy? I just need to get my Pokemon healed up a little bit. You know how that is, Nurse Joy. I just need a thing or two. Just get them, you know, back up to speed. Thank you so much, Nurse Joy. You know, we really appreciate that. You're always looking so good and looking out for us, Nurse Joy. Let's go talk to her. She said, oh, that's my weed seed. Thank you. You're an awesome trainer. Take this for your effort. You obtained a big root. Yeah, let's go. Don't know what this guy's going to give us, but maybe it'll be something good as well. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here at the docking port. As you guys just heard, we got to make our way through the route to the other city, then come back with the keys and then make our way to the other city. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you haven't joined the Purple Banditos yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button as it really does help me out and it helps the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Goodbye.